this is Desiree and we are going to continue our journey uh, with our color by number diamine ink vent uh, holiday tree. Um, I've got some nice pens inked up here. I'm gonna see some swatches after we're finished and uh, take a look at days 11 through 15 of all of the ink vent inks and enjoy a cup of tea. So if anybody wants to join me with some tea, we're gonna get started with our color by number play. All right, the first ink um, for today is Party Time, and it is a brilliant fuchsia. And I have my Kenai pen from Washi Tape store um, inked up with that. So let's start with the letter. This one is like super bright and it is a shimmer ink. Ooh, I should shake that around a little bit. So put that in here and this is Party time. Okay. Oops. This is really fun. This is starting to, to be more and more fun as I add more and more colors to the little tree here. So I'm going to continue seeing how everything looks together. Wow, yeah. Oh, and I have to remember um, not to color in the whole thing, but to give a little bit of water so we can kind of pull that down and see the color blending here a little bit. Wow, yeah. that one looks really nice there on the tree. So that is party time. Okay, so for day number 12, that is star, Stargazer, and uh, that is a very saturated shimmer and sheen. And I have that inked up in my Conklin medium nib. Very dark and very saturated color. And Stargazer. And I actually was playing around, some of you may have seen <clears throat> my little clip on. Um, Afterthought, I was thinking I should have done the whole demo uh, for people to see. But this top part here um, is Stargazer. You probably can't see a whole lot of it, but it was definitely a shimmer sheen. Definite blue sh oh, shimmer in it. And a red sheen, if I remember right. I've already swatched those out on, on the other paper. So I was thinking that I would put that in here. Let's scoot that around here just for a second. Can fill that in. That looks cool. Turn that around a bit. Yeah. Fun. That is a really pretty blue. They're all pretty. I mean, I love more subdued, subtle blues for writing, but I just love blues in general. So that is Stargazer. 
So for number 13, I decided to ink that up. That is really pretty sheening ink called Ruby Blues. And I have that inked up in my vintage Schaefer touchdown. Very smooth writing. 14 karat gold nib. Um, so number 13. This has a really prominent red sheen if you've seen other people so ruby blues and again when i finish coloring in the tree i will go back and show you the swatches okay stargazer so this one's ruby blues thinking I would put this pretty sheening one down here close to the bottom next to party time and oh wow that with water that one is really a brilliant, brilliant blue. Wow. Blue, purple, red. You can kind of see the, the sheen coming into the blue. Let's see if it's on camera. Wow, that's really pretty. I have to say that I really have a lot of fun using these <laughs> as watercolor. Um, in art also and I'll have another journal flip coming up soon because it's almost gosh well it's not I guess it's midway through the month but things go fast and I'll have another uh, journal flip coming up of December pages here in a while wow that is really beautiful and very vibrant all right, that was Ruby Blues. And the next one is an orangey red. It's not too different from, from the uh, Peach Punch, I don't think. I'm, I have that um, inked up in my Schaefer Dolphin. And that's this one. This is 14. I'm surprised at the, the lack of true greens or different greens so far. And I'm also a little surprised at the lack of, um, of the deeper, darker reds, although I'm thinking that maybe those are going to start showing up towards the end and maybe the very last one. We'll see. All right, this one is Red Robin. So, yeah, it's been interesting. This is the first time I've ever gotten a dye mine ink vent calendar, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. <clears throat> okay, so I'm using this one for another ornament. <laughs> you can probably tell which ones are my favorites. They get bigger spots on here, it seems like. And it's a little bit darker, maybe a little bit more brownish than, um, than the Peach Punch for sure. <clears throat> but it's... You know, it's still quite an, an orangey, brown-orange kind of hue. Mm. Okay, pretty. The last one for this five days is called Nightshade. 
and it is a standard and a really lovely ink actually <clears throat> we're gonna start down at the bottom here now filling in the letters but I inked that up in my Twisby Eco and starting down here This is a really pretty gray blue that kind of seems to dry kind of a lavender blue. It really is kind of a reminiscent of a twilight color night. and it is called Nightshade. It's been kind of fun. I've been enjoying it. So this is Nightshade. We'll see how this color dries on this paper. Oops, hope I'm not getting my hair in the camera. <laughs> I know that happens sometimes. touch the other color too much because it will definitely bleed in there as I'm as it's doing okay I'll probably fill that in a little bit more and it's really looking pretty lovely all of those colors together okay so I'm gonna put that aside and I just want to show you the swatches real quick <coughs> Okay, so the first one was party time. It is in the yellow, pinks, oranges swatches. And it was this one, bright, um, brilliant fuchsia. I remember actually having some nail polish <laughs> that was exactly this color when I was a teenager. <laughs> so really pretty color though. It really adds to the tree. Um, so that was number 11. Number 12, back to the blues, greens, and purples, Stargazer. And that was this one. Wow. I put a lot of ink down for that. I don't know if you can pick that up, but it's um, heavily sheening. And I see some glimmer in between the sheening and up at the top here. Um, trying to move it around a little bit there. So that's Stargazer. And then Ruby Blues is here. Very vibrant and sheening. A lot of red sheen. That will be pretty. And I think you can kind of see the sheening on the lettering as well. And then <clears throat> number 14 is back in this book. And this was Red Robin, standard ink. A lot of brown in this one too, An orangey brown. A little bit more brown, a little darker than the peach punch but pretty similar tone actually and then the last one was is nightshade and that one is really pretty and one thing i notice actually on this tomoe river paper it is not drying as lavender uh, as 
it is on some. And actually, when I compare it to what I just laid down right here, um, I think this one picks up a little bit more of the lavender too, actually. So it's interesting because I know a lot of people have been doing swatches on many different types of papers. And a lot of them that I saw as samples definitely picked up more of the lavender than, than it's showing here. I may not have laid down too much ink there. That might have been part of it. That is it for 11 through 15. And I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's been really fun for me trying all of these in different in my different pens I'm having a lot of fun writing with these um you know in in letters and things so um yeah so i will see you in a few more days and uh if you like this please like and subscribe and thank you for watching see you soon bye